So the question has got to be asked, is it even possible that in the month of June that there were only 5% more homes available than what sold? Well, we're going to go over that today. So my name is George Moorhead with Bensley Properties. And if you are interested in, in real time, market updates every single week, along with recommendations for buyers and sellers and other great tools and whatnot, hey, subscribe to the channel. It's free. There's no obligation. Ask questions. We're getting some really great questions out there. And really make sure that uh, if you've got one, post it. There's no strings attached. We answer typically within 30, 45 minutes. And we will also uh, bring out some of the questions if we see multiple, you know, like one question asked a few times. Not many times we'll, we'll ask it here because then that means that other people have the same questions. So today, today is going to be kind of fun. So with that, let's get on with our market update. So is it, is it a number I'm making up? Is it real? Uh, what is it, George? I mean, come on. Is it even possible? Normally, when we take a look at things, right? We take a look at sold versus active. In 2019, the number of sold homes compared to the number of homes available on market, you had a 57.6% chance of selling your house. Well, that's kind of interesting. So what was it in June? June over June. Well, in 2020, it was 95.04%. So that means that if your home hasn't sold or you didn't sell your home yet, there are three reasons your home didn't sell. Price, location, or condition, you know, floor plan, natural light, condition of the home. It's the only three reasons really a home doesn't sell. Or those are the top three reasons that a home wouldn't sell. So there are things to consider, right? Now, you might say, okay, George, show us your magic chart. Marie will go ahead and post these, and we do have our magic chart. So to let you know, so in June, and there's a reason we're starting with this versus what's on the board, right? There were 7,734 homes sold in the month of June. Remember, that's a rearview mirror. So we're kind of looking uh, at May also, right? Uh, there were only 8,137 homes on market. That's 5% difference, just to let you know. Uh, that's, a, that's pretty interesting, all things considered. Uh, I have never seen it quite that tight. Now, what is more interesting, as we go through this today, our numbers are going to be worse. When I say worse, I guess better in some capacities, worse in others, because our inventory is dwindling. Now, you might remember last week, and I have my board filled, that's why these aren't up there. You might remember, this is the number of active homes, this is the number of pending, and of course, our number of sold. So, we had 418, this is the last 24 hours. Remember, Fridays are a great day to list your house. So, of course, off the chart, we had 418 homes, brand new homes that came on market. Within the last 24 hours, uh, 418 people said, I'm putting my house on the market today. Just to be clear. Of that, 374 have already gone pending. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> that's, that's like, what, 30, 50, just shy of 50, 48 homes-ish. Disparity, meaning that we had uh, only about 50 homes. That's, that's, what do they call it, averaging upwards. About 50 homes came on, on market more than what off, came off market. Okay, well, that's a very small number. Uh, considering that we also closed, that means sold 328 homes, right? Now, I said that Fridays are the best day. So that, that chart is a snapshot of one day. So I'm going to give you a snapshot of the last seven days. And of the last seven days, again, let's hold it up here. We have our actives. We have our pending and sold. So. Here's the downer. Uh, of the 1,587 new homes coming on market, we had 2,487 homes go pending, only the last seven days, and 1,424 
sold. Well, I hate to say this, but that's more than two and a half times the homes coming off of the inventory availability than came on. That is a downward trend. Now, one of the questions that was asked, so Kevin says, sure. Will we hit a negative inventory? Holy mackerel, I hope not. Don't even ask that question. <laughs> That's a bad question to ask. Uh, sadly enough, uh, it's entirely possible uh, because remember in May, we have like 1.7, 1.8 months of inventory. And I said, based on the trends, based on what we're seeing in June, uh, you know, I see us getting down well below 1.6. And in fact, the beginning of July, which was the end of June, we had 1.1 months of inventory. Based on this number right here, which is consistent each and every week, our inventory is going to drop. We're going to be below one month of inventory by the end of July. I would not be surprised if we weren't down to like 0.8 months of inventory, not even one month of inventory by the end of July. Don't be surprised. I predict it. I think it's going to happen. Uh, the question is, will we get a zero to zero? In my 27 years of practice, I have never seen, I have never seen us get down that far. But then again, I've never seen us quite down this far anyway, which is pretty amazing, all things considered. So what's driving this? Okay. Well, we have the potential of a new acronym. You just got to love them. New acronyms are awesome. And they call it the FOMO. And I started laughing. I was like, F-O-M-O, -O, FOMO, fear of missing out. We call that the auctioneering syndrome also. Fear of missing out, not only on owning your own home, but a major driving factor is this right here. Interest rates at 2.875 uh, for uh, owner-occupied. That's no points. Uh, Non-owner-occupied bumped up just a tad bit at 3.75. These are amazing rates, absolutely amazing. Uh, chatting with uh, Dan Golden uh, and uh, kind of doing some masterminding as we're taking a look at options, trying to help people answer financial questions, what's in the best interest for them. You know, I'm like, Dan, holy smokes, dude, are rates gonna go back down again? Uh, like just a little bit? And he's like, you know, there's a high probability of it because we're seeing we're seeing some really good signs, you know, that will drive uh, uh, interest rate down, uh, bond prices, mortgage-backed securities becoming a, a safer investment. Uh, part of that is the rollback of, of like California. We're also seeing the potential of a rollback, which Alex, Alex asks, if the governor rolls back the stay-at-home effect. Alex, that is like perfect time to do. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, this potential rollback. Uh, because of the increase. Well, that creates volatility in the market. People start pulling out of the market. They go into bonds because it's safer, driving down the mortgage interest rates. Bonds and mortgage-backed securities go up, 10-year treasuries go up in value. They're, everything's proportional. Okay. So the FOMO, fear of missing out, is going to be part of a massive drive for this. All right. So when we take a look at things month over month, our inventory, shockingly enough, month over month, Okay, this is July, what is today, the 18th, 18th. So July 18th up to July 18th, uh, it's technically the 17th. Uh, and then of course, uh, June 1st to the 18th, right? So we're up inventory 5.1%, uh, new homes coming on market, new sellers saying it's time. It is like the perfect storm, I'm out on the market. They're up 13.1%, pended. Pended it up. Remember, last week, Pended was down 2%. This week, we're now up 5.1%. That's a 7% swing. Sold 10.4% uh, up month over month. Now, let's come over here. Year to date. So year to date, inventory is still hovering at that 42%, 45% below month over month as far as total number of homes Available. So if I've got my bucket and I put all my listings, you know, all the agents put it into the Northwest MLS's bucket, our bucket is less than half full from where it normally is. Uh, new on market, we're still down 13.2%. Uh, pended, whoops, there we go. Look at that. Pended, we're only down 5% year over year. 
Last week, we were at 6.2%. So we've already gained headway. We're already closing this gap. We come over here. We've got solds at 10.9% under year to date. Last week, we were 114 this number will continue to go down. I would not be surprised if that number went back into the single digits. Probably in the eight, maybe 9%. All things considered, this is an am amazing market. It's kind of like everybody's fighting over that same bottle of water. There's only so much inventory that is available and, and people are, they're just gobbling it up. And with interest rates as low as they are, uh, it makes absolute sense. You know, we're looking at, uh, you know, another investment property. Uh, and, you know, the option is, hey, do you pay cash for this or do you finance it? And to me, it's, hey, money this cheap, money this inexpensive, it makes sense to leverage it. Why? Because your appreciation is going to exceed that. And so you're actually able to maximize or collateralize those dollars in a more effective way. Those are investments. We're meeting with a couple of folks later today about this very conversation about how to maximize that dollar based on today's lending rate. When uh, I first started investing in real estate, it was 11% for non-owner occupied money. And it was brutal. When it went down to 9%, I thought I hit the jackpot. Holy smokes, 3.75. <laughs> That's unbelievable. All right. So, we had one more question. Brian asked, uh, why hasn't my home sold? And we kind of went over that. There are three reasons. There's some options out there. Price, condition, or location, and then condition. Now, if you go on market and you're marketing aggressively, meaning that you're trying to push price, that's fine as long as you have a plan. Make sure that that plan is a, it's a structured price reduction, that there is some logic behind it, uh, and that the, the that you're not just guessing at what's out there. Uh, and that's a way of accomplishing that. So uh, understand, there are some really great things out there that are available as far as metrics to say, where should we start and where should we end? Now, sometimes folks want to push that price point. Okay, that's fine. But again, just have the plan of, how are you going to match market? Okay. Because, you know, as, as agents, we can give you professional advice. We can tell you what the market trends are. We can tell you within a uh, margin of error what your home will sell for. And then sometimes folks really feel that, you know, based on their red pen or Zillow or what they personally feel or what they feel they need to get or sentimental equity, whatever that might be, the market is what the market is going to be. Now, in today's market where, again, we have more inventory uh, going off than we have in a long time, we have interest rates that are absolutely low, just keep that in mind. So guys, do what you need to do to match message to market, which means making sure that you're doing a, either a structured price reduction or you know something along those lines. So hopefully that answers your question. In the meantime, uh, one thing, Boomi was doing an update so we do roughly about 80 home evaluation updates every single month. Uh, no, actually, that's about every single week. No, nope. it's 50 a week. So it's about 50 a week uh, is, is the number of homes that we do, uh, as high as 80 in one week that we have done, which is way too many. Fortunately, I have a large team, which allows us to accomplish that. Uh, in in uh, 98021 zip code, getting back to uh, Kevin's, comment will we hit a negative inventory just love it when my team gives me little sidebar notes all right so um that's really amazing so in 98021 in june may and march there were more homes sold in the zip code 98021 than actually came on market so kevin there you go that is a negative inventory uh and that's pretty frightening when you think about it uh oh there are a, a number of different error uh, zip codes that that is happening over the last three months. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you have questions, post them. If you like the information, subscribe. This is in real time. Don't wait 30 days, 45 days, 90 days for other people. Look, it's free. Subscribe. Give us your questions. Let us know what you're thinking. In the meantime, I'll see you guys on the next video and have a great day. Take care.